Kindiki kizure by the way is one of us. Lakini kindiki asikubali kutumua vibaya. Ye ni wakili, ye ni wakili, na angalie e, wakati kama huu, anaweza kuharibiwa sifa. Na mi na mweta ntakaya kwa because it's from, <laughs> from Sekuru to the record ni karibu sana. Except kwamba wakati wa maandamane ya 2024, when was a minister responsible for interior, even as we speak, he's still the minister for the interior. Jensi waliwawa wengi. Na bado wengi hawajulikani waliko. 2023 waliwawa watu wengi. Tukiwa na ndada angu, mapacha, my twin sister, I don't know if she used to escape. Me, I was almost killed. Lakini waliangalia mother, wakaona hii mwili ni kama ya njiru. They spared her. But they nearly killed us. Lakini mawaji ya 2024 kuwa watoto wengi na mnayo na uwe wanyo mekubali abductions. Wameshikwa kinyume na sheria, hawapeleku kwa mahakama, hawajulikani walipo, complete and total abuse of Human rights of Kenyans. I want to propose wale watoto wa 2024 na 2023 ili kuwaenzi kama mashuja wetu tomorrow. And my other mashuja ni vijana wetu wa Gen Z Kenya hii. Tunawaenzi mashuja wetu ha. So that tomorrow we have reason at least to celebrate. Nikija hapa, nimepitia kamodhanga Mahali tulimzindikisha kijana uh, Rex Masai. Up to today, hakuna askari hata moja, hamekamatwa, hakapelekwa korokoroni, diyo tujue ruto na serikali yake, have any idea about human feelings. Hakuna askari hata moja. And I want to confirm even the international community wameelewa ruto ni mtu ainagani. Sio vile walikuwa wakimuona as we speak things have changed. And the international community is with the Kenyan people. Kwa hivyo hapa tukisherekea hafla hii ya kiajabu. Hatuna bodi hii la pia tujisherekee sisi kama wa Kenya na tujue nchi hii yetu hakuna ambaye anaweza kukotoa wewe haki yako kama mwananchi wa Kenya. Na hakuna hata ambaye ako na haki ya kutoa uhai wako. So we say bunge la Kenya, bunge la Senate na bunge la National Assembly vimetekwa nyara. Even Raila used to say so. Vimetekwa nyara. By the exact kutekwa nyara aso one of the things my twin sister and my friends are under us to look at because I've been in government. Something called confidential vote in the office of the president. Diyo meleta kutekwa nyara wazi wazi watu kununuliwa kama kuku kwa bunge. The first thing we shall get rid of is that confidential vote in the office of the president. Diyo wanainchi wajue peza zao hizi zinatumika kivipi. That is where the center of corruption kwa nji hii. Mukisikia viongozo wa nanunuliwa ni hizo. And by the way, it is not even subject to public accounts of the National Assembly. This is why they can use the billions to do what they have done. Leaders ambao wa mebaki na angalao conscience kidogo kiasi. Tua muke jameni to say me no. Jensi wali ingilia mahakama vacho before justice barasa I was amazed I don't know they got the the coordinates waka ingio kondani kwa mtandao huku tukisema sisi unataka waka anza kuima andani must go judge aka shanga mambo gani hata I can say now this matter must go before open court. It is in open court on Tuesday. 
my London brother, Kibe Mwigai, had even introduced him as a for conservatory orders. Ile International Airport yet to Isiende na walagai. Wangapa zema International Airport haitaenda. I want to end. We will not. Ruto, you'll have to kill every Kenyan to get the kind of country you are leading us into. We will not agree. It will not happen. It will not happen. Therefore, our judiciary, today, ilikuwa kwamba wapate order. Leo Jumamosi, siku ambapo wenzetu wa Seventh-day Adventist, walikuwa wakienda kanisani na kuingineko as we have had, walikuwa wapate hiyo order, ndiyo Deputy President mpia apishwe leo. That was the purpose. And I said on citizen interview, and probably a lot of you will have watched. Elisema, we knew that on Friday there was going to be a special sitting of the National Assembly to approve the outcome of the Senate, meaning they had already anticipated debate before the Senate. So the Senate Kwanza Mungekatalia Maneno Ezema, this is already anticipation, it is illegal, it is in, 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 in contravention of the standing orders of both the Senate and the National Assembly. Lakini kaendelea hivu. Juma, ijuma, kafanyika. On my way, nilipitia karibu pale na Uhuru Gardens. It was purpose kwamba wakitoka kwa National Assembly, was it yesterday? Walikuwa kitoka hapo, on a Friday, walikuwa hoto waandamane mpaka Uhuru Gardens, because Katiba Nasemba, the Deputy President, must be sworn in uh, openly. Uh -huh. It is very clearly stipulated. So, walikuwa mepanga kila kitu. Leo ni meona wamekua natoa, tuwapigia, ipi wanainji wa Kenya makofi, kwa su wametoa hiyo. Walikuwa natoa mahema na kila kitu. Meaning, at least, they could not proceed. It must have been that the Chief Justice must have, said, must have told to them, we can't do this. We will not swear. We will not swear your candidate. And now a lot of things, Kenyans on social media, I really, there are people who are amazing. I didn't, I have not checked that before you become Deputy President or President or something, you should not be a public, you should not have been a public officer for at least six months. It is there. It is there, that's a law. So, and Kidure, Kidure is a senior lawyer himself. He should have seen that. He should have advised his boss. We should not be incensed. We should not be so preoccupied with the present, uh, pres with the presence of Kitugano Tapata, Diwaribu Hata Sifa, Ya Inchi. 